What's good, YouTube? I'm back out again with another video. And today, guys, I'm going to tell you guys like where I've been. It's been a minute since I uploaded a video. Uh, part one of that is my last video did get taken down. Uh, but that's some drama, some mess stuff that I don't have time for right now. So we're going to put that to the side and disregard that whole situation. Now, if the quality in this camera is not the best, I apologize. I am recording on my phone. I'm not in a position right now to get my tripod, my camera, my ring light to set everything up to shoot a video. I am on crutches. I can't really walk. But before I get into the video, before I tell you guys where I've been and why I've been slacking on uploading, I want to make a disclaimer and the disclaimer is in no shape, way or form am I saying that Steph Curry or Under Armour broke my foot. My foot just broke in the shoe. Okay. I was wearing the shoe when my foot broke. All right. So it is a, there's a number of things that could have played into my foot breaking and I'm not saying that this, that's one of them. I'm just telling my story and things in that nature. So let's proceed. Okay, so a lot of people who know me and those of you who do watch my channel, I do have a love for basketball, though I do not play professionally or in college or anything like that. I still play pickup games and whatnot like that because I do love the sport. Now, um, my primary shoe was the Curry 4s, right? Now, the Curry 4s, I chose to go with Curry because one, I am a short player i am a guard and you know why not you know what i'm saying i tried kobe's kobe's weren't working for me uh i tried Kyrie's; they also didn't work for me so i went and tried uh under armor kari force which was a perfect fit for me because it did fit like a sleeve like a little sock um the traction was incredible and i love the shoe the only thing that was wrong with the shoe was the um the cushion it didn't have that much cushion but after some time you do get used to the shoe and that's just that's just factual if i'm moving a lot guys i apologize i just have to keep my foot a certain way so it doesn't mess up let me see if i can adjust this camera there we go okay so um maybe back early december uh i told my girlfriend that i did want the new curries which was the curry sevens i can show you it here right so these are customs custom made curry uh sevens i wanted her to customize the shoe because i wanted to play basketball in a shoe with meaning now i am under the impression i have never like seen the regular curry sevens that all this material is a lot softer than the custom made because this is a picture like i said whatsoever um so i'm assuming that the curry sevens the original curry sevens are a lot softer than this material but you know, I wanted her to create the shoe because it has meaning. Now, for example, when I say meaning, the back stands is, has JT, which are my initials. I'm not going to give out my government name. If you know it, you know it. If you don't, you don't. Okay. Um, the flowers that is, that's on the shoe are pictures that I, I took when we went to Denver for my birthday back in October. Right. And then she put the date on the shoe. You can't really see because it's scuffs, but uh, the date on the shoe is the day that we started dating right so um the thing about it was i ordered the shoe back in the beginning of december now it took forever for the shoe to come in because i got the shoe maybe a couple days before valentine's day is when it came in so early february the shoe came in you know i have not played in the shoe for real i haven't really want to say i broke in the shoe for real but, you know, this I, I needed a new basketball shoe. My Curry 4s were falling apart, and I needed something to play in, you know? Um, so I was kind of excited that the shoes came in. Now, uh, I did not play in the Curry 5s, 6s, or anything like that. So I did not ride the little wave to build my, I guess, foot tolerance up to the Curry 7s. So I was not accustomed to the shoe. I was just used to the sock. Now... Uh, the shoe overall to me when I first put the shoe on it was very stiff you know any basketball shoe is stiff one thing that kind of was weird to me is that the shoe has traction but it doesn't squeak and I love the squeaky the squeaky noise anybody who plays with me or played or played me knows that like I love the squeaky noise the skish, skish, skish. like that's my favorite noise to even like that's my favorite noise now the day I broke my foot I was wearing this shoe 
uh, this is not the shoe that the broke foot was on. I will show you guys that shoe later. Um, so before I get into that and the, and the actual incident that happened, I also want you guys to know that like when I show you guys the picture, it's going to be a little graphic. So if you guys, if your stomach cannot take it or deal with it, I suggest that you don't watch the video because my foot broke, broke. So before we get into that, uh, let's start with the day. So at my college that I go to, my university, we do have intramurals. We have uh, girls and boys intramurals. I was playing the girls three on three league. Uh, we had enough girls to play five on five, which was cool. Now, like I said, I'm just getting these shoes. I'm just breaking them in for real, just getting used to the shoe. They're still a little stiff. Now I'm playing um, basketball, everything is cool. Now, one thing that was kind of weird to me is how the incident played out. Now, the incident played out just like Kevin Ware's incident kind of played out, but I was not like jumping, you know? So I kind of just put my hand in her face. Like my legs were like this and my hand was in her face like that. So I didn't jump for real, but my foot stepped on her foot and my shoe kind of went, my shoe went right and my ankle went left and my, like it snapped. And I will insert the pictures somewhere in here, right? Somewhere in here, I will insert the picture. Uh, you guys will also see it as the, the thumbnail. Now, um, when, I, when it first happened, I saw my foot. I, I saw it break. I fell and I saw it break. And I was in shock because one, I didn't fall that hard and my, my leg just snapped. Like it, my, my, my ankle just snapped. And I was like in shock because like, wow, like it was crazy. Like my foot was basically touching my calf muscle. It was, it was, it was traumatizing. Um, when the, like I was screaming, uh, it didn't hurt at first. It felt like, it felt like a, an extreme Charlie horse but it wasn't so intense as a Charlie horse, but it was just bothering me because the pain wouldn't go away. Because eventually Charlie horses, they go away. But in this case, it did not go away. So um, uh, when the ambulance did come, they it took them 30 minutes to come. Uh, they called my parents, my significant other, they called everybody that they needed to call. Uh, they tried to take off the shoe, but they end up, they had to cut the shoe off. This is my, my sock that I wore that day. They had to literally, cut it off like they cut the shoestrings off first and then they cut the shoe off because they could not get my foot out of the shoe it hurt when they tried to pull it out of the shoe let's see if i could yeah so they cut it like this and they cut the side they also cut this side too just to get my foot out of this shoe I was kind of irritated because I just got the shoe. I didn't even break in the shoe all the way and I had to get it cut off. I was just like, dang, I just got these shoes, bro. Like what? So I was a little upset about that. Um, the pain didn't kick in until I got to the hospital. Uh, my adrenaline wore off, you know, I just was screaming. It was a lot of pain. When I got to the hospital, that's the picture that you guys saw or is seeing, I don't know how long or where I'm going to put the, uh, the, the image, but when I got to the hospital, guys, I tell you, my, it was, it was, it wasn't as bad as it, it didn't feel as bad as it looked, but it was pretty bad. Um, the doctor tried, had to try three times to snap my foot back. So the first time he just tried to pull it back and snap it, but it didn't work. And when I tell you that was so painful, guys, like it was painful. The, the third time he bit my leg, he bit my leg and then he, um, he kind of, like he just did this and then he pulled it and it snapped back into place. I did have to have surgery. I fractured my foot and I broke my ankle. So I do have one long screw going like through my, my, my foot to my ankle. And I do also have two nails in my foot so like in my ankle area so i do have some screws in my foot uh, I don't, the healing process is probably going to take up to 
four to six weeks which kind of sucks because i do have school and i am taking 18 hours excuse me which is a lot and i'm i'm, I'm not scared to fail because i'm gonna stay on my schoolwork, but i am a little excuse me i'm just a tad bit afraid of numerous things of possibly failing uh but um it was traumatizing it was painful it was an experience that i do not want to have again and i'm just kind of curious on why did it happen like i had a billion things running through my head kind of like is it because i went you know i stopped eating meat is it because you know the shoe was too tight is it because the shoe was too stiff what like you know it could be a whole bunch of factors is it, i just rolled on it wrong like it could have been a number of things like i said in no way shape or form am i i need to lay it up am i blaming steph curry or under armor for the incident because i don't think that they had anything to do with it but you know it kind of sucked because i just got these shoes right so i was kind of really like in pain upset kind of thing um under armor is a great brand and for basketball shoes at that I do recommend them over Adidas and I do uh, definitely Adidas and I do recommend them over Nike because they do last a lot longer than those shoes. But um, my favorite Currys will forever be the Curry 4s, lows and highs. That's just me. Don't at me with it, bro. Right. So um, that's basically how I broke my foot. Now, uh, like I said, sorry about that guys somebody called but like i said i'm not sure how the uploading is gonna go i'm not i'm not sure how consistent i'll be able to be because of my foot injury but i will try to be consistent as possible when it comes down to recording if anything i'm probably gonna have to stick to vlogs for right now because there's no way that i can go downstairs and get my tripod and my camera to record these videos and record these reaction videos for you guys but i will try my best to do so um i just kind of wanted to tell you guys how my foot broke and where i've been and things in that nature and that i'm not lacking consistency with you guys i'm just currently going through some things so after my foot heals everything will be back to normal the doctor did say that it'll take four to six weeks um like i'm not even able to go to school let alone leave the house so um i'm gonna try to you know update you guys as much as possible uh, i'm gonna try to get this video up as soon as i can so if you guys like this video thumbs it up if you don't like this video thumbs it down and if you want to see more of my face and subscribe to my channel yeah so uh i hope that i do recover quick fast and in a hurry and i'm sorry you guys that i am not able to upload like i would like to um and yeah i'm kind of i'm kind of mad about these shoes you know these shoes are kind of dope people liked them and uh they really cut my shoe so um that's it peace